Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. So in today's video, I've got a really fun technique showing you the difference between gilding flakes and fab foils and how you can use the same flitter glue uh, for both products. So depending on the effect that you like, uh, you can still use the same glue. I'm going to be using that gorgeous sunflower stamp from Indigo Blue and I'm going to be using the Chariot of Fire Gold Gilding Flakes. And then the foil is the rose gold foil from Wow. And then I'm going to be using the flitter glue. Now you could use any kind of flake and glitter glue for this, but I find that the indigo blue um, flitter glue is, is just brilliant. I've got some scrap paper to the side of me. I've got my foam, my scoochie foam, my palette knife. And if you've not seen me use gilding flakes before, uh, you'll know that I'll recommend putting them into a large container, but I only have one and it's filled with silver flakes at the minute, so we're going to be extra careful with the gold flakes today. So first of all, I'm just adding some flitter glue to that piece of fat foam. I'm using my palette knife to push it in, and we're basically turning it into a stamp pad. And then I've got attached the rubber stamp to my acrylic block, and I'm just using that sponge all over it, like you would with an ink pad, making sure that I've got good coverage. I'm using some scrap paper underneath the cardstock because I don't want to get the tacky glue all over my desk. It's a bit of a pain to clean off if you get it all over your desk and then you start sticking things to it. So use a piece of scrap paper and you want to be really quick. You just want the stamp to make contact, to leave an impression, and then you want to remove it straight away. Otherwise you risk tearing your cardstock. I'm using 300 DSM black cardstock for this today. Uh, so it's a nice heavy weight um, for my card front. So I've popped that first panel to one side just to let the tacky glue dry a little bit. You want it to be clear so if you can see any creamy white at all, it's not quite ready yet. So I'm going to ink up my uh, foam again and stamp the sunflower stamp on the second panel of black cardstock. I'm making two very similar cards today because I really just want to focus on showing you the difference between gilding flakes and fab foil, but how you can use the same technique to get two uh, very similar but slightly different effects. So there you can see I've got a lovely impression. So the next thing to do is make sure that you go and wash that stamp. So that's what I'm going to go and do. I'm going to wash my palette knife, wash my stamp and rinse my sponge out ready for the next time. So now I've rinsed everything. I've come back to my two panels. They're now dry and you can see that lovely shimmery pattern of the stamped image. So while the glue is dry, it's tacky. So we can now add the uh, foil. So I'm using the Chariots of Fire Gold Flakes from Indigo Blue. Now what I love about Indigo Blue's flakes is that they're really large, um, so you get a really lovely effect because the flakes are so large, you can see lots of the shine. Uh, they're really easy to use, they're not very static, uh, so you can really contain any mess quite easily um, because of the size of the flakes and the, and the lack of static. So all I'm doing here is I'm just covering all of the areas that we've got with the tacky glue. I'm just covering them with the gold gilding flakes and I'm just kind of pushing them in with my fingers. If I've noticed any extra bits on the other flowers, I'm pushing them across so that I can then use it on that top one rather than taking too many flakes out of the tub. You really don't need that many gilding flakes. A little goes quite a long way as you can see here. So I'm then able to tip the excess flakes back into that little pot. And this is where it is helpful to have a larger container, especially if you have used a lot more flakes. It can be a little bit tricky to get them back in. So definitely put them in a big Tupperware tub if you've got one or plastic container or something just to make it a little bit easier to use. Now I'm coming in with the Scoochie foam. Now the Scoochie foam is like a piece of abrasive foam and it just really helps to bring out the detail of the stamped image and remove the excess gilding flakes. Again, you can tip all the excess back into the pot and it's ready to use again for another project. Next, I'm just going to spritz a piece of kitchen towel with some water and just wipe over lightly that card panel. I'm using minimal water here, just a light spray. And then you can see the gorgeous shimmer and shine of those gilding flakes. I absolutely love using gilding flakes. I love seeing the finished project and the finished effect. And I just think they're so pretty. Now, if gilding flakes are not for you because perhaps you worry about the mess or um, you've struggled with gilding flakes in the past, Fab Foil is another great way of getting a very similar effect. Now, I know my foil is not the same gold. I am using a rose gold foil today, but you'll be able to see the effect is similar. It is different, 
Um, but if you don't want any mess, this is probably a great option for you. So as you can see, the fab foil comes wrapped around a piece of cardboard. So I'm just trimming off the amount that I want to use today. You can see I've got a scrap in the back of that packet. And of course, if there's any gold foil left here, you'll be able to use it on another project. And you'll see that really you don't use that much of the foil. So all I'm doing is carefully laying it over my project, making sure it's nice and smooth. And once I've made sure it's nice and even and smooth over my card panel, I'm then going to give it a good rub all over the raised areas with my finger. You can feel the tacky glue underneath the foil, so it makes it really easy to know where you need to put and apply pressure. Once you've given it a good rub, you simply peel off the foil and you can see that lovely impression on the foil. And then you can see the gorgeous shimmer on that piece of cardstock. It is absolutely stunning. So I'm just going to bring the other panel in. Again, I'm sorry that the two goals are not the same, uh, but you'll, you can see with the gilding flakes, it's very flat and you do get a slight variation in the colour tones on the gilding flakes. And with the Wow Fab foil, you can see you get a slightly raised texture, but it's very, very smooth and very shiny. So these are two ways that you could get a similar effect of foil without a foiling machine, no heat needed, simply just some tacky glue and then whichever product you prefer. So I hope that's given you a little bit of insight into how to use gilding flakes and how to use fab foils. But now we're gonna turn these two panels into cards. So these are gonna be slimline cards today. I've already gone ahead and made my own um, slimline cards. And I already had that sentiment uh, from Funky Fossil Designs, be like the wildflowers that blossom fearlessly. I already had it stamped out in my stash, so I'm going to use that today. So first of all, I'm just adding some glue to the back of this card panel. And then I'm going to attach that sentiment nice and flat to my card panel as well. I'm keeping these cards really relatively simple because I really want the gilding flakes to shine and the fab foil to shine. I really want that to be the focus of the card. I've got these lovely flat back gems from Melina Crafts, so I'm going to use a few of those just to finish this card off today. I've got my uh, reverse tweezers I'm just using to help me kind of work out a layout and to um, pick up the gems a little bit easier. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of glue underneath them and stick them down. And then that is the first card finished for today. So I really hope that you like that. Um, I really love the simplicity of it and I love how these gilding flakes just shine. Uh, I never get tired of that. So for the second card, I'm going to use this sentiment uh, from the Friendship Stamp Set from Funky Fossil Designs. Um, it's a really cute uh, sentiment. It's one of my favourites and it says, Friends make the good times better and the hard times easier. I just think it's a really nice sentiment. I'm going to use Wow Embossing Ink here and I'm going to heat emboss it on some vellum. So I'm just stamping that out. Um, I've used my anti-static powder bag first of all, and then I've got a scrap of cardstock. And I'm just going to use this super fine white embossing powder from Wow. It's a lovely bright white colour, and because it's the fine powder, it picks up on all the detail in the sentiment. I'm just making sure that my heat tool is nice and hot, and then it doesn't take long to heat set on vellum. It actually is very very quick. So um, once that, as soon as that's turned, then it's done. So next I'm just going to bring in that panel and I'm going to wrap the vellum around the middle of the card, making sure that it's nice and level. And then I'm just going to use some double sided tape just to tack that in place. Of course, you could have trimmed off the extra bits of the vellum here, um, but I've just left them on. I'm going to remove the backing tape from that double sided adhesive, just so that the centre of the card's got good contact with the card panel um, when I'm waiting for the glue to dry. And because obviously we've got a little bit of bulk with the vellum. Um, so that's just going to hold that all nicely in place and then I'm going to add a few little gems just to finish this card off as well. I've got a lovely little shaker mix from Lucy's shop called Alice's Poppies and in that mix are some beautiful uh, flat back pearls that are just the perfect colour, they're like a peachy tone to go with the lovely rose gold uh, fab foil so I'm just going to attach a few of those down to my card front and then those are the two finished cards for today so let me know in the comments below which you prefer do you prefer the gilding flakes or do you prefer the fab foils or are you just not into foil at all let me know and um, please don't forget to like and subscribe especially if you've enjoyed this video it really does help my channel I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video as always the products that I've used will be linked in the description box below and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video thank you so much for joining me. Take care.